Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to add status bar in the form view. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to drag and drop list view, please check link is given in the description. If you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Wablens channel. Under the home screen, you can see Odoo 1718 development tutorial. Right now, we are working on this playlist. If you are a beginner and want to learn from the beginning, you can visit this playlist because this is the main playlist and those are the topic wise sub playlist available all right guys if you didn't subscribe this channel please subscribe it will help me a lot plus you will get the latest notification about the upcoming sessions so how we can add a status bar right so what is the main purpose of the status bar is let's say if i'm going to the crm i can open this form you right so here you can see what is the status of this lead right it is a new stage it's a qualified stage or it's a proposition stage or it's a one stage right so here like this way right we can use as a status bar so this is called as a status bar right so now we can also implement the same thing right in the school profile so here we don't have that status bar so first thing is the good news is we can try to create status bar and then after we are trying to implement that status field into this form view okay now here let me go to in the student model models.py file right let me open this school and here let me add status like this fields dot let's say I'm using here selection okay so now we can use here the new new right then after let's say active active and then after let's say closed okay so we have a three status by default status is the new all right now the status right we can add into the list view that's it after we can copy this module and i'm simple try to upgrade this module here Guys, if you don't know how to configure or do in PyCharm like this way, please check a detail level playlist. I have already explained everything. Now I will refresh the screen and I'm going to the list view, right? And now you can see the status is new, right? That is the good news. Now here I'm trying to implement the same thing, right? So for that, we can go to here again in the form view. We can also visible this header because under this header, we must have to use that field right status like this now in case you are using something like this way right i'm giving you two scenarios the first scenario is this one once i will upgrade the module and now you can see here the result right you can see here it's a drag and drop option is available but it's not look like that specific uh, fancy GUI right which we saw in the CRM lead so to do that one we have to use here the widget and the simple status bar so widget is nothing but it's a special uh, GUI operation it will perform some operation it will display attractive view or you if you want to add some particular operations easy way right easy doing way then you can use here the widget by default this is the default widget we are using as a status bar so let me again try to upgrade the module and now you can see the status bar is visible new activated and the clause right now you can see it's not selectable right here so for that we have to extend somehow this field uh, using the options right here in the dictionary format uh, we have to use let's say clickable right and clickable as a one like this way after again we have to upgrade the module and refresh the screen and now you can see right once i click to here activated once i click here or here so it will automatically 
call the write method and it will store this closed or let's say active or the new one right so like this way you can perform this operation right the clickable operation here or let's say if you don't want to add any clickable operations but you want to use the buttons right to perform these actions then it is also fine so here you don't need to use these options right so that's it guys for this session if you still have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in our next session and our next session is very interesting we can add here dynamic status bar right using the new custom model so see you there